Hello and welcome everybody to Firewatch. My name is Juggernaut and I'm going to be giving you my first impressions of this game. What is this game? Well, Firewatch is a relatively new game that came out on Steam recently and it is basically, as they describe it, a first-person mystery game. Uh, looking at this title screen, I expected something a lot darker when they say mystery game. You expect a sort of... Uh, Almost amnesia uh, level of, of uh, well, not horror game, but like mystery and darkness and, you know, stuff like that. But now we we, we gaze upon this, uh, I believe it's some sort of outpost. It looks very pleasant. I, I mean, I'd like, like to visit this place IRL, uh, if such a place exists. Actually, before we jump into the game right, uh, straight away, let's take a look at the options menu. Uh, display subtitles, absolutely. Subtitles in uh, English. Uh, three, four different uh, audio sliders. New goal alerts. Double head bob. Uh, no, let's turn that off because it's not very pleasant for some viewers. Uh, everything on ultra. V-sync on or off. Full screen. Resolutions. Uh, controls, I believe, fully rebindable, yes. Okay. Uh, nothing too impressive, but uh, well, considering the, the the type of game this is, I don't I don't see anything particularly wrong. Um, maybe something, maybe a few options missing with the in terms of the graphical fidelity, like anti-aliasing and stuff like that. But tessellations, uh, but yeah, it can be forgiven. All right, let's start. Rather slow loading time, considering. I hope you didn't hear that. That was a. Windows 10 alert. <laughs> you weren't supposed to hear that. Okay. I'm going to leave the audio really high up, by the way, because I want you to hear the game, because I'm, I'm assuming it's one of those games where atmosphere really, really matters. Colorado 1975. You see Julia. And there's a lack of narration, so I'm going to narrate this, I suppose, and might as well. Who the hell is Julia? Okay. Uh, am I supposed to click? Oh. I'm supposed to click. Okay, sorry. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. I'm getting, um, I'm getting a, what's it called? This is Emily? No, what was that? Um, I'm getting, I, I did a, a, a video like on a game uh, that started off similar like this uh, recently. It was with, about a girl called Emily. It was all text-based. Essentially, you writing messages to her and, and she responding. And it's like, it was a very sad story, but... Uh, I like the music, I really do like the music. Can I change the options? No, I can't. Okay. You are drunk. I'm not going to voice act these. Uh, <coughs> Alright, let, let me give it a listen. So, um, what is your, you know, major? It's the best I can do, shut up. <laughs> you slur the words major and it smells like uh oh god. Calls? No idea what that is, I'm honest. Give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool. You reply. What's yours? I nearly I nearly did the drunk voice with Emily, alright. Great. Uh <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing at this, it's probably a lot more serious than, than I'm letting out. Uh what's yours? she asks. She sniffs the air. <laughs> Toxicology. Was that a burn, you ask? She says, definite, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Where is she at your feelings? She asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Oh, God. Really? Why does this never work for me? Uh, I, I always approach women... Uh, while drunk and it never works for me. All right. Um, tell you what, picking up that backpack and putting it on my back was the most satisfying thing I've done in, in recent video game history. But before we continue, um, drop this down to like. 
35. Okay. I like the music, but uh, a bit too loud is still a bit too loud. Open! Nope. Oh, Alright. Let's not, uh, let's not go off exploring. Not yet, at least. Atmospheric. Oh, God. It's going to be one of those games, isn't it? Please don't tell me this is, uh, again, I forget the name of, of the game also that has, like, weird levels, and I did, I did, like, a full playthrough on it. It's a shame I can't remember the name. There's, like, two games I can't remember the names of. It's absurd. Alright. There we go. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. Okay. You move in, you share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers on out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Um, you don't like beer. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy undersized beagle. Julia's in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Bucket. I want to have a dog called Bucket. I mean, come on, it's just... I would've, personally, I would've picked the German Shepherd. Actually, that may not be entirely true, depends. But I want a dog called Bucket. I mean, I love him too. I just love him for the name, let's be honest. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30pm, uh, or half past 9pm, and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart, or good at much. I'm saying if you and I to have some, a couple of little idiots. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I'd like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably enough. <laughs> um, Self-depreciating jokes. Lovely. Oh, sorry, self-depreciation jokes. I have incredibly fat hands. Can I just mention that? But I just sort of get the feeling that this game is going to be... Um, the, like, Julia dies within the next ten minutes of the game. Julia dies, and I have to find her. Or the kids die, and we have to find them together. It's Thursday now, and Julia... Uh, by the way, why is uh, why are these scenes, like, literally ten seconds long? It's ridiculous. I don't see the point yet. Uh, by the way, I haven't paid attention to the years passing by. Uh, it was fairly obvious that no years were passing by, but... It's 1980 now. I know the game starts in 1989. I'm pretty sure. That. I think that's what I read somewhere, so... It's Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call you. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having fun, uh, having a fun time. You fight and she get... You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad. Yeah, I get mad. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck you- uh, I'm sorry, like, Peggy- uh, this, is, this is not Peggy 18 here, I'm gonna try and- Oh, it's right there on the screen, I mean, I can't not swear of how let's do it. She tells you to bloody well fuck off. Oh uh, no, that's not true, she tells you to fuck your- she tells you, sorry, to fuck yourself, and... To not be such a baby, you call her selfish. She knows you mean it, and it hurts her feelings. Uh, hurts her feelings- I'm joking. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. Uh, absolutely, I pose like a He-Man, because what I always do. No, I'm just, I don't think it makes a difference, but uh, yeah. Try and get more serious, more intimate, more uh, committed to this, you know, more personal. This entire storyline. Alright, um... Look, look at me! Do I look like an adult? I look like a fucking child that's obese. 
Uh, is this a metaphor for something? I'm thinking this is a metaphor for something. I'm going to remember the name of that game that I that I was talking about. Actually, hold on. The Beginner's Guide and Emily is Away. Those are the two games that this is reminding me of. It's like a combination of the two. Well, actually, The Beginner's Guide, not that much, because uh, it was very different. It was narrated, it was... Uh... Walks Lookout Tower, eight more miles still. Uh, it, it's, uh, like, it's, it isn't really reminding me of The Beginner's Guide, but there's, like, some elements, some really rough elements of, of that game sort of put into this, I guess. During the summer, you and Julia enjoy walking Bucket at night. Yeah, Bucket. This festival in town, it brings in folks from faraway places. Oh, God! Okay, this just suddenly got dark. Uh, first of all, I was gonna say, we had that fight. I mean, that's... I assume that fight didn't mean anything, um, like, in the long run, but apparently one of us is going to get murdered here, so never mind. Furthermore, we should have bought that German Shepherd. Uh, <laughs> that's a good point. If I bought the German Shepherd, would this uh, go out differently? I wonder. Tertiary out of all those things. Um, yeah, this got dark very quickly. Okay, one of them tries to monkey with a knife. Bucket gets kicked. Yeah, <laughs> fuck d d d dog. Julia yells. B b yeah, fuck. I, I don't know how to. I don't know how to produce this sound. B b b i b a fuck. Whatever. She gets fl uh, flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. Oh, okay. You confront the attacker. You beat his goddamn face in. Oh, I'm apparently a tough guy. Good job. Uh, apparently every day of, of training at the gym paid off. Um, yeah, this is getting weirdly, weirdly uh, accurate. Okay. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. Absolutely. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julie asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go to that, uh, you don't go that way either. That could have been way worse. 1940, uh, 1984, sorry. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Oh, God. You know, he gets offered a job at uh, Ye uh, Yale? I should know this! I look at I looked up this university. Oh, God. Ye Yale, right? Yale? Yale? In that place, I am. Um, I actually looked this thing up. Never mind. It's, it's completely relevant. Let's let's move on quickly. Um, you absolutely do not. Uh, she wants to move you The grip she commutes back and forth. Uh, yeah. You don't want to move. Uh, she says that'll be hard, but she'll do it. If you won't move, you tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Julie is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Oh, God. No, let's talk about this. Seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, she's worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. 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 Uh, I guess it depends what how you how you how you pronounce it. We both decided to keep it a secret for now. Oh God, this is getting dark. Holy shit! Still have no clue what I'm doing in the uh, woods. I, I imagine this journal might. Uh, Nudity much? Am I gonna have to edit that? No, it's art. I don't have to. It's art. Okay. 
Bucket is getting older. Julio comments is kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to university. Now, I was gonna, was gonna say, now it gets worse. Drives a car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get Julia calls you a dope. Any unborn children, little idiots are these. Get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, behaving like her dad is at the door. Believing, sorry, her dad is at the door. You tell her family they're crushed and begin to uh, begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit. Oh, sorry, from Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. Spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, Danielle, the nurse. She suggests she, it's it's Daniel after all. It's not. I mean, I assumed nurse. It's it's horrible of me. I'm sorry. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you a couple of months. best. It's for the best. She's gonna get killed. You know that. It's that type of game. She's gonna get killed. This is like... How old am I, by the way? I'm, like, I'm, I'm at least 50 by the time, right? Because she's 41. I didn't marry like a girl that's... I don't know how many times older than me, did I? I was not to say there's anything wrong with that, but I don't think so. F her family agrees with your decision. You, are, uh, you find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day. Then every other day. Fuck, man, I'm, I, don't, I don't need this in my life. All right, you go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide not to see your old friends that much. You get depressed eventually and you commit suicide. Julia's sister Suzanne moves to Boulder to be closer, to, to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan binds an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you uh, if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Suzanne. Months go by, Bucket dies. <laughs> Months go by, the cute dog died. Get depressed, player. Oh, sometimes it takes her a, a, a minute to lock in on you. It, it's in the back of your mind you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes you for, it makes her, uh, her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. Yeah, I was gonna say... She played the bloody job. This is like... Take the job, alright? I'm waiting for uh, 89 to, to see where the game actually kicks off from, so. And do we eventually enter? I uh, to look at town. Do we eventually get to the to the end? No, I was planning on this being a first impression series, but uh, I might finish the game. In like one video. I don't know how long it is. I don't know, perhaps we haven't started yet. If we haven't, then fair enough, but... Uh... Actually, I'm pretty sure we haven't started yet, considering the size of the game. Pinecone, fair enough. It's a... Uh, pinecone. 
Okay, old stove. Stove. Another pine cone. Fascinating pine cones. Alright. Water jug. The Singular Mind by uh, Dr. Jonas Allard. Don't mind your mind alone. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Left shift activate the radio. Oh. Uh, hello. Um, hello? It's a weird controls. You have to hold left shift and release it when you want to say something. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I what, sleep forever? <laughs> funny. Okay, now go ahead. You killed three ex husbands. You're rebelling against mom. Nobody back home can stand you. You killed three ex husbands. I like it. Okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Very good. Bravo, Henry. <laughs> okay, sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. But maybe you just really like trees. Maybe it's... Gosh, maybe it's a borderline fetish. A tree fetish. Good night. <laughs> good night. Good night. Good yeah, absolutely. Firewatch! Oh! Is that where the name comes from? Firewatch. We're gonna... Watch the woods. Make sure there isn't a fire. It's like my idea of therapy, right? I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Okay. Sorry, I guess I slept hey, in. Sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, 6? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it, that hike puts everyone... Can I drink bleach and end my up. life? It sounds about what this guy wants to do. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it, do you see it? Round map on it, yes, I do. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? West, uh... West, 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 west. There's west. Okay. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Oh yeah. That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You and need to get down no. <laughs> right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Okay. Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. <laughs> well, dirty Harry. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. <laughs> okay, photo of Julia. Let's take a look at what we actually... Of course we don't get to see her face. Uh, I look like... 
will not comment on how I look like, and we shall never look at a photo of the main character ever again. Okay. So, uh, I can press the two button on my mouse and get the thing open. Uh, so, that what we saw at the beginning was sort of the prologue, right? This is the actual game itself. Uh, we need to go west and stop the fireworks. West. Uh, no. We need to find ropes in... Yeah, is it up there? Oh, it's going to be up there, isn't it? They're up there or down there. Ropes. Alright. Also, I'll rope singular, I suppose. Yeah. It's not up here. Nope. Uh, it said it's a mystery game. It definitely grabbed my interest with the intro and uh, all the entire thing going on here. But uh, I don't see the mystery in it yet, which is a good thing, I assume. But okay, we do have some freedom of movement, right? We do. We're not. There's not entirely linear. There's places we can go to. Um, is that where we get the rope from? I really have no idea where the rope is. That's the generator. That was the most pathetic throw I've ever seen. Uh, was that the drop ball? Hey Find rope in NFS cache box 306. Okay. Um. Help. Is it this way? I remember the password, 1234, but, uh... We'll pass code, I suppose, not word. Can I... Ah. Okay. So it's in that direction, correct? Let's assume it's in that direction. I can actually see it on the map. I'm going to do the first quest, and I'm going to end the video at that, because I don't want to spoil too much of this game for you people, but... Um... What do I think of it graphically? Let's get into. Let's break this game down and 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 see. Well, it's gorgeous. Um, not the highest graphical fidelity, but that's not something you look for in these games. I think it looks absolutely beautiful from an artistic standpoint. I really, really like this. Okay, uh, it, it's all very stylized, colorful. But to to the extent where it, uh, to to exactly how much it needs to be right, it's not overly emphasizing anything. Uh, with with like there's like a almost if you take a look at the scenery and then like the the dark in the background, the sort of it gives away a certain um, certain je ne sais quoi, no, a certain uh, feeling of there's something going on here, there's something dark, mysterious going on in the in the background of this. I think it's it's amazing from an artistic standpoint. And also, there's the occasional, like, dump going on. Yeah, like that. Oh, that's the fireworks, probably. Uh, we need to go and get the... Uh... What's it called? The uh, rope. Mind you, by the time I get to the rope, uh, they're going to burn down half the bloody forest. I realize this, but... Uh... Hey, maybe they should have... Maybe I should have found someone with better qualifications for, for this job. There really is a whole lot of nothing out here, huh? Well, nothing civilized, no. It's a good thing, Henry. You'll like it. Yeah. Apparently I will. 
Sorry, I have no idea where this cache is. I'm going to... I'm missing out so much of the game by not being able to find this. Um, I'll tell you what I'm blaming. I'm blaming Skyrim and The Witcher. Because in these games, in those games, usually I jump on top of... Weirdest looking rocks and then just go straight through the terrain rather than following paths. I blame those games for the, in this instance as well. Um, there it is, okay. I found the supply box. Great. Open, says me. Uh, oh. Open, it is. Okay, uh, how do I, oh, it's the um, scroll wheel, sorry. One, two, three, four, boom. Granola bar. Eat the granola bar, you fat fuck. So, <laughs> so I would apologize, but with the, everything that the game is, has been throwing at me, uh, Screw it. Ron, hey man, couldn't take it, so I locked this, uh, locked up his lockout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked, hiking into the park, but let's get... Fucked. Oh. Hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. I'm not judging, I'm just wondering what sort of person writes, Hey man, let's get fucked. On a note. In the middle of the woods. And fair enough, you might ask, well, what sort of person, um, what sort of person gets this job and then works in the middle of nowhere like this and, and steals other people's granola bars and then blah, blah, blah. Listen, I'm fucked in the head, as we've established, so don't judge Henry here. Henry's gonna, Henry beat an, 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 an armed attacker to a pulp. Do not judge Henry. Okay. Um, also, the, those are the greatest rope skills I've ever seen. Just, like, point that out. Now I break my head and, and die. Right? Fall and break my head. Look how darker it gets. Yup, called it. What did you break now? You stupid fat man. My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Be careful for Christ's sake. Uh, hey, there's a tie-off point up here just a little away from the shale slide. Oh, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west. Without any, you know, mountaineering. Alright, so right, fair enough. Um, as I said, like, it does weather and lighting very nicely, this, this engine. I have no idea what engine this is. It's just, there's not a lot to comment on beer cans. Really? Fine, I'm going to... No, take your job seriously, you didn't do anything else in life properly, do this job properly, for crying out loud. Okay. Backpacks. They left their packs tied up here. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. She said the idiots. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. She said the idiots. 
You know what? You know who else said the idiots in this game? My wife. Oh, God. I'm confiscating this. Oh, shit. Ferret or Irish. Yes, I am confiscating all of your alcohol and getting... Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people... I was going to say, what if they're naked, yeah. Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. What sort of perverted mind am I playing? What sort of... Uh, there are underwear, as <laughs> I say again, uh, this is Private Henry reporting, there is underwear here. <laughs> Absolutely take that. Take that, goddammit. You took the bra. What, what sort of person takes the bra and not the underwear? Report <laughs> second set of underwear. Yes. <laughs> this is the best game ever. There are two. There are two naked women. Say again. Two naked women. <laughs> Same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Yeah. <laughs> I know this will be tough for you to try and pick your tongue up off the ground. This is a job. Okay. Oh, this is the best game I've ever played. I'm sharing this with everyone on Facebook. Oh my god. <laughs> there are two naked women. Say again, two naked women. <laughs> Enjoy dealing with that. Yep. Quit the fireworks shit or else. Please go with the fireworks, okay? I know you're lighting fireworks. Uh, please go with the fireworks. Do you know what? Hey, that go okay? Screw your music. I hope they drown. Yeah. I don't think anyone would mourn a couple of future arsonists. Just gonna go ahead and not log that as a threat. Thanks. But seriously though, thanks for dealing with it. You didn't even get to see the naked ladies. Mind you, that's a good thing because I have less editing work. Uh. Oh, you are not going to force me to walk back. You are going to force me to walk back. Alright. Though, in the game's defense, I'm going to need to find another way around, won't I? Okay. Tell you what, it's amusing. Very. Um, that that was very funny. Okay, I feel like I ruined the entire jokes and, and the humor of the game by saying that, but it really was like, like it, very much. <laughs> Report second pair of underwear. <laughs> There's just something about that sentence. I thought I'd never say that on a YouTube video. <laughs> uh, this is Henry reporting a second pair of underwear. <laughs> There are two naked women in the lake. Say again, two naked women? Uh, <laughs> the things I do for YouTube. So I have a bit of a confession to make. You're a vampire. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. Yeah, well, uh, whatever. Well, I'll, um, you know, I'll try to make it up to you. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Okay. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. 
Well, that's okay. Bad, right? Because of the lightning. It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. So no. I'm like twice well, nice. there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I it's one, two, three as well, right? Like it said, yeah, it said well, the same thing. Really what killed him? What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? Yep. The same everywhere. Okay. On. Um. Literally a horn, yeah, okay. Put it back. Flashlight. That doesn't work, of course it doesn't work. Ah, it works, okay. I've got a flashlight now. Cave. Do I, do I that? do I dare? What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Hello! This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. <sighs> oh, sorry, Hank. Okay, uh, we're gonna end the video soon. I'm not gonna spoil too much. We're gonna just get to the lookout, hopefully, and, uh... And end the video there, but, uh... I wonder how the wife, uh, if at all, is going to tie into this story. There's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... There's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What? It's... Outside. Come on. Oh, fuck you! You have me going so badly. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. <sighs> that freaked me out, though. Don't turn this game into a horror game, you hear me? Do not... Turn this game into a horror game. And drop down. No, no, don't. Oh god. Okay. Um. Well, tell you what. Thus far, this was one of the most unique gaming experiences I have ever experienced. I'm gonna stick with that sentence, and I, I really, it is true. Um. Let you in on a bit of my personal life. Three games came out that I need to review. Three games that I need to do first look. So actually, two. Sorry, I'm not going to do Dying Light, uh, the DLC, because there's like an entire playthrough of it already, about like two months before the, the DLC came out, so I'm not doing that. Uh, boycotting and everything, that, uh, boycotting that DLC and everything. Well, not doing videos on YouTube of it, so. Not really boycotting. I am an idiot. And this is something I, uh,. Trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but you know, anything for the service. Uh huh. Thank you. Anytime. Ah, oh, it was great. Uh, it's, it's lighthearted, and then there's like a. It's lighthearted, and then, then there's like a, a creepy moment, like that dude with a with a flashlight. But oh shit! Shit!
Someone broke in. What? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Are uh, the photos still here? The place is trashed. That was fast. Yeah, well, do you have any idea who could have done this? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon. Yeah, I'm blaming the guy because I don't think the girls uh, in that drunk state would have, first of all, climbed those stairs, let alone broke everything. And I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts. Great. I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. Okay, that's enough. That's enough of this gameplay on YouTube. Um, I think I, I think the game sparked your interest enough. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache, and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Exactly. Yeah, uh, someone made a choice years ago. Why did I know you were going to say that? Alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Though I do see the point. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. Grenades. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Grenades. Oh, this guy. So, report. Uh, there are two under there are two pairs of underwear. I'm kidding. Report, uh, game is incredibly mysterious. Wake up. Oh yeah, of course I'm shaking because, yeah, I'm not... Hey, wake up. Sorry, I, I can't pause yet, let me just, uh... I'm awake, I'm awake, what's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Of course it's not, and here we go with the mystery. I don't really know why that would be the case. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? Oh, it's shit. easier for me to send all the lookouts out to the fire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger, and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna wanna go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Okay, uh, that's enough. We're not doing any more because, no, it's, it's, no, it's a little bit of a playthrough after this point. Um, report. Game looks gorgeous. Atmosphere is amazing. Like, they nailed the atmosphere, in my opinion. Uh, of course, you might not like it. Again, it's entirely subjective, but... In my opinion, they nailed the atmosphere, and it's, it's a good sense of scariness, creepiness. You know, it gives a good sense of that. It gives a good vibe uh, of that. And it also has like a dark, mysterious sign behind the side. Sorry, behind it, as well as the humor being brilliant. But that's just, I guess, I don't know. It's just I have a weird sense of humor. Maybe it's just me. I hope it's not. But yeah, I'm gonna save here. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Please remember to like and subscribe down below if you enjoyed this, uh, I suppose, let's look at or, or first impressions of uh, Firewatch. And uh, tell me what you think of the game. Do you like it? I think it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, but yeah, until next time, my name is Juggernaut. Take care and bye-bye. Uh,